Welcome everyone to this month's support group. I am here with our dietitian Sheila, and she's going to go over some grocery shopping tips. Yes, bro. Um, this month's support group will definitely give everyone recommendations on grocery shopping. Before you go on uh, doing your grocery shop, you want to create your detailed shopping list according to your weekly menu. Plan your week ahead of time. Plan your meals based on grocery stores weekly flyers. Items on sale are usually on rotation, so and then also do not go when you're hungry. Make sure that you eat before you go to your groceries. Leave the kids and husbands at home and keep a grocery list on your fridge. Write down things immediately as they ran out. Avoid going back and forth to the shop to purchase only a few items. Definitely will uh, save you gas. Buy produce when it is in season. A lot of vegetables and fruits are in season throughout the year. Shop during peak off hours, usually 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. or after 4 p.m. or early hours on the weekends. Find a shopping buddy so that way you can split your list half and half with the buddy, uh, with a buddy, and then get all the things uh, needed faster. Buy products that are on weekly sale. Cut out and organize coupons. Try store brands. Most have exactly the same ingredients. Compare different brands for the same products. Use the store savings card. Avoid trips to the corner store. They are usually overpricing their products for convenience. And this is why they are called convenience stores. Cut back on convenience fast foods, microwave meals, and frozen meals. Look at the price per unit. Divide the price per each item. Avoid temptations and trap areas. Healthy foods are located around the store perimeter, along the walls. Inside the perimeter, you will find the processed and frozen foods. Avoid food samples. Generally, those small portions can easily add up to 25 calories. Pack your lunch and snacks. Try a crock pot dinners. Cook large batch and freeze them for next time. Invite friends over a meal instead of going out and create a healthy meal plan. Make sure you buy enough to last you until the next time you shop. Try healthy recipes to add variety in your diet. Modify recipes to make it healthier. Focus on recipes with healthy preparation and cooking methods such as steaming, baking, broil, or saute in broth and slow cook. Buy different colors of fruits and vegetables. They have various vitamins and minerals. Plan your weekly meal plan as if you are a restaurant business. Leftovers can be made a uh, meal such as casserole, soups, or bread pudding. Bring your leftovers for lunch. Having a healthier pantry means you won't snack unhealthy foods at home. This occurs when you are bored, depressed, or when you just want to snack. 100 calorie snacks are always good. And get some sugar free popsicles or jello. Read nutrition labels when you're shopping for your pantry and sweeten frozen fruits yourself. You may use blender or stevia instead of regular sugar. Avoid the corn syrup or added sugar and season frozen vegetables yourself. Use more herbs to season and minimize your salt intake. Wow, awesome. Okay, Sheila, well thank you for sitting down and talking with us today. Okay, you're welcome, bro.